And during the few moments that we have left, we want to talk right down to earth in a language that everybody here can easily understand. But I think uh, Will can be a very valuable asset. No, good call on that. Coming up next, it's Commando Dave. David, how are you? Hey, what's up, John Clayton? How's it, how's it going? Doing great, man. Just a minor point of clarification to Shannon Jerrier's report. Yeah. Robinson Cano doesn't have a pinky. He's got a brownie. And right quick, John Clayton, <laughs> it's true. Let me give a shout-out to Ben Longley, a big John Clayton fan who contacted me on Facebook. And while I'm giving... Shout out John Clayton. Let me give one to the greatest sports lunatic in the history of sports, Frank Caliendo. Mm-hmm. He's saw fantastic. You, uh, on, uh, huh? He's great. Yeah, saw him on Dan Patrick this week, and man, love you as Gruden and Dick. Uh, your Boomer and Jaws is great, and can't get enough of McShay and Kuyper, and your Stephen A. Smith is absolutely unbelievable. But when are you going to do the Professor John Clayton, damn it? Good question. That's what I'm I saying. don't know. I mean, he uh, no uh, no reach out from him on that, so maybe uh, out of sight, out of mind. Well, let's just say this: if he can't do you, John Clayton, he should at least have the professional decency to admit it, as Adam Scheffler. Uh, and John Clayton, have you ever heard me say I'm the only member of the John Clayton paparazzi? Yeah. And did I hear you tell JB and Renton that you're going to the KC Seattle game tomorrow? That is correct. And you didn't get me a credential so I could fake covering you, covering the biggest game of week 11? Uh, I did not, know. <laughs> I didn't know if you, you know could what? make the trip. I thought maybe, I mean, you, you have a big Husky commitment tonight to watch <laughs> in, okay. in the afternoon. <laughs> well, in the words of your Monday night countdown buddy, John Clayton, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. And now on to a serious subject, John yeah. Clayton. Last week I heard one of the craziest things I've ever heard on the John Clayton show. Too bad the go-to guys, toothless cougars, cut the show short before I could call. Percy Harvin was traded before week seven, and the day before week ten, I called her on the John Clayton show, called him a sociopath because he could go from a press conference to body slamming Golden Tate. You let it slide, John Clayton, but in the words of Jules Winfield, allow me to retort. And I'll reiterate the point I made a couple of weeks ago on the show. Anyone and everyone that's a Seahawks fan went crazy during Percy Harvin's Super Bowl kick return, mm-hmm. realizing the Seahawks were destined to win Super Bowl 48. Percy Harvin had one of the most thrilling plays at the most thrilling time, and every Seahawks fan rolled the wave. The next season, it didn't work out, and now he's the Jets and Jets problem. So I'm not going to sit here and listen to him be called a sociopath. Now, Gordon was right about the James Brown documentary. But watch the new Lance Armstrong documentary on HBO that shows a guy with a Richard Nixon, John Gotti, Genghis Khan personality who began with a lie that grew into a federal investigation and was Teflon for a very long time. But when his number one henchman dropped dying, he just started slashing and burning everything and everyone in sight with absolutely no regards to anyone but himself. That's a sociopath. Mm -hmm. Percy Harvin is no more a sociopath than Mike Salk is a program director. The guy who directed 710 promos of the 714 new lineup change that to date, with the exception of the John Clayton show, thank goodness, has endured about 714 changes. And the next thing you know, this guy is now with that guy. That guy had to call an audible. Now he's with this guy. These guys are minus the guy. So this guy and that guy are trading (laughs) places. So if one of them can fill in for another guy, and as an astute, long kind sports radio listener, it sounds like you're program directing a shell game in Oceanside, California, on a Camp Pendleton payday. Sorry about that, John. That's okay. You, got you it. know yeah. me. Yeah. If I got a back clean up, I got a back clean up. And lastly, John Clayton, if the Seahawks can handle their business in KC, and the Lions can take care of a little road trip on their own, week 12 with the Arizona Cardinals in Seahawks Stadium is going to be some real fireworks, don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah, because now you're talking about first place being in play, and that would be huge. Commando, thanks for the call. Let's go, Victor, in Auburn. Victor, how are you? I haven't talked to you in a 